Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a regulated mod. I um, believe it's been designed in the United States and actually built in China. Now, it's something really that I don't usually do. Um, I was contacted by the designer or and the um, suppliers of this mod and they showed me a picture of it. And I thought, at the time, I thought it looked so outlandish and uh, and weird and strange and crazy and couldn't believe somebody had done it that I accepted and I said yeah send me one over and they did and and to tell the honest truth when I got it it was far more outlandish and crazy and uh, out there than I thought it would be and that's the gang mod by Fumo um, yeah as you can see this is basically modeled after a knuckle duster uh, brass knuckles you know um, it begs belief really of uh, who would come up with something like this but they've done it it's here so before I get into sort of any more details about what the fuck this actually is um, let's talk about the mod itself now um, it's made completely of aluminium and it's nickel plated this one um, there's also a matte black version as well it uses the Camry chip in this, uh, so you've got some 7 watts to 60 watts. Um, you've got quite an integrated uh, system on it, basically. You can go in, you've got a puff counter, time and date and all that jazz. You've got your own readings and, and things like that. Battery life takes a single 18 650 battery. We've got a 22 mil, um, sort of like a, a very tube um, connection on the top. You've got, you've got slots there um, for your airflow. Spring-loaded 510 as well. Also comes with these changeable face plates on the side where your battery goes. You get three of these actually, a couple sort of like CNC designed. I believe these are um, yeah, these are CNC designed. You get one with a logo on it and some little sort of motifs on the other two. LA written on the side of it and all that jazz. Um, and, and luckily, yes, it does have four holes for your fingers. And they, um, it sort of has a concaved um, button as well. The button's actually quite nice. Uh, just take a quick blast here now. I've uh, put my Hurricane V1.2 on the top, shamefully, and uh, I'm just going to take a quick blast. There we go. I could have made a cup of tea in that time. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, let's go down now at the table and have a look at this close up. Um, I'll show you what comes in the box. I'll show you the different um, sort of magnetic doors that you get with it as well. We'll have a look at the chip itself and uh, then we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Save. So here you have your gang mod by Fumo Vapor. And as you can see, it's, to be honest, it's really, really well made. Look at the, uh, the engravings are really nice. The workmanship really, really nice on there as well. The finish is lovely. I mean, these are these are solid aluminium. This weighs just under 320 grams. It's not light at all. Um, and then this is nickel plated. So this is a scratch fest. This is a bugger to keep clean. They do do them in a matte black, in case you want to hit somebody in a matte black instead of the chrome sort of look. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the face plates or the, the, the interchangeable plates over the battery are uh, really nicely done as well. These are CNC engraved. They tell a nice little story. We have a little catch under here for your nail. Simply just pull that off. There's your 18650 inside. Magnets on the back there. And then you can interchange them. You get another one here that's been CNC engraved. And then you get another one as well with the actual Fumo Vapor logo. So that's really nicely done. Uh, they snap on really quite nice and firm. On the top you do have a 22mm very tube style 510 connection with your grooves cut out for uh, your atomizers that don't have any airflow and you do have a spring loaded 510 in there. You also get venting on the bottom as well. Switch is nice, little concaved switch there, it's actually quite comfortable to touch. And then obviously on the other side you have your up and down buttons to control your menu system and obviously your screen for your chip. Now it's five clicks on and off, so let's turn it off, one, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five to get back on. And on we go. So uh, let's go closer in on this chip now and uh, have a look at the uh, what's on the actual screen display and then we'll go into the menu system. So there's your menu display. Press that again. We've got your uh, battery life indicator at the top here. Here we have something that says Atom. I uh, can only assume that's meaning atomizer. There's not one attached at the moment. Got a puff counter on the side here as well. Let you know how many puffs you've took and your voltage below it. Here you have your wattage indicator. I'm at 20.5. This does actually go up and down in 0.1 in increments. And we have the date and time at the bottom. And we also have sort of like a little wattage ometer at the bottom, almost like a speed dial of a car. So uh, it's telling you that I'm at 20.5 watts. Now to get into the menu system, it's three clicks. One, two, three. Or it was, last I knew. Try again. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Now on the top, we have your power on and off. So if you want to just switch it off. Next, we have vaping mode. Now, this basically is sort of like a cutoff. So if you want to vape, say, for only three seconds, you set it for three seconds, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, or just manual, like I have it. We set your date and time, pretty self-explanatory. Have your puffs reset for your puff counter. Standby time, basically for when it turns off to save any battery life. And then at the bottom we have your puff set, which basically will switch it off, um, say if you reach your total number of puffs that day. I think it goes all the way up to 800. So let's get back out of the... Oh, we have a max as well. So... Um, all in all, let's go back out. I mean, all in all, it's its functionality functionality is okay. Uh, I mean, it does have a, a quite a flimsy screen on it, which is kind of strange because of the actual how solid the mod itself is. The screen to touch, you can basically feel that just bending in. Um, so you know that's. Compared to the rest and how solidly that's built, that seems a little bit of a shame. But there you go. That's the uh, gang mod up close uh, by Fumo Vapor. So let's go up and uh, I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so uh, there you had the gang mod uh, in all of its sort of dangerous glory. Um, now, first things first, the style of this. It is designed after a weapon. Now, it's not the first we've ever seen. I mean, there's been like the Call Fire 2, which was in the shape of a bloody grenade, for God's sake. Um, but the, the difference between this, I feel, personally, and the Call Fire 2 is this actually can be used as a weapon. Now, if I take the um, atomizer off the top, if I can, yeah. If I take the atomizer off the top, You know what I'm saying? Um, it's pretty much a weapon. And, um, I mean, for God's sake, don't ever use one as a weapon. It'd be absolutely ridiculous. But saying that, I mean, I suppose all metal tubes could be used as a weapon. But the fact is, you, you, you're you not going to be able to leave the house with this. I mean, this is also illegal. In so many places, it's unbelievable. I think it's only allowed in... I think it's illegal in 26 states out of the 50 in America. Do you know what I mean? Where this is actually supplied and been designed. Um, so, you know, if you are in the US and you want to pick one of these up, check where you're going to be allowed because you won't be able to have it delivered to you. Um, this is also, this will also be illegal for anyone in the UK, especially to go. If I wanted to go out with a vape, not with this. You know, um, you know, don't have this in your pocket. Or don't, I don't even think I'd be allowed to sell this or even give this away in the UK uh, because it will be supplying somebody with an offensive weapon. So, 
I mean, off the bat, the design has that major flaw. Now, it's a great, I get it, if you're at home and all that, it's a great novelty piece to have at home, I suppose, if you're into this sort of thing. Um, you know, for me, I'm not. I've got too many kids in my house. This has been hidden away. My kids would literally shit if they saw this. They'd go, fucking bananas. You know, I mean, Dad, it's having a man! And, and start bashing fuck out of each other with it. So this is like locked in the fucking vault upstairs. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I do know that Fumo... I mean, nice guy, Joe. I, I, I spoke to him quite a lot. He was really decent in sending me this. He sent me this and some uh, juice as well. Um, I haven't tried the juice yet, but... I mean, I was actually shocked when I got this out. I was just like, oh, my fucking God, it is pretty much some brass knuckles. Now, this one, like I said, is made of aluminium, but it is... You are going to knock a motherfucker out if you hit him with this, I swear down. I mean, um it's 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 fucking unbelievable it really is um it, it's stupid um let me take a, another vape now we're gonna let's talk about the actual functionality as well now it took all that time for it to start up now the ramp time on this is is old age pensioner it really does take a long time to ramp up and have a vape on this as well now the camry chip here is uh is pretty poor to be honest now you do have a, a nice little screen i like the screen but it's very flimsy i can feel it move when i touch it um you know that one drop on the face of that and if it lands on something that's that's shattering uh it really is uh you've got all the gubbins on it um you know you've got your time your date which i suppose could be handy if you was out and about um and you didn't have your phone but then you can't take this out and about. So, you know, most of us do have clocks and shit in our, front, in our bedrooms and front rooms and what have you anyway. So that's pretty useless. You have a puff counter too. Um, I've never really been too interested in knowing how many puffs I've taken. So, um, but yeah, you know, um, 7 watts to, to 60 watts. So you've got, you got enough with, with this. But in all honesty as well, comparing it to, say, a DNA or uh, an SX, um, it feels like it's not reaching its power as much as those two do on the same sort of resistances and on the same sort of uh, wattage settings as well. Um, now, you've also got this sort of in interesting little sort of wattometer uh, down here on the bottom, almost like a speedometer of a car, which tells you where um, where your levels are on your wattage, which is kind of cool. But yeah, uh, and you've got some up and down buttons on the top here, so nice and easy, nice and simple to get to. Uh, comfort. He's a fucking knuckle duster. Um, I don't really think they've been designed for comfort, really. They've been designed for knocking somebody's teeth in, haven't they? So, uh, yeah, it, it does it does fit in your hand, you know, like a knuckle duster would. What more can you say, really? Um, take another vape. Uh, overall, you know, I can see what they're trying to do with it, but I just think it's a terrible, terrible idea terrible terrible idea and uh, i just wouldn't recommend anybody getting one of these at all unless you just want it in your house to show off to your mates when they come round, bruh you know uh, and maybe this my dad did on maybe to be honest maybe i'm just sitting here thinking well that's not very responsible is it but no it ain't um you know i think you might end up getting some stupid prick going out with this and doing something silly with this and then just just really uh, undoing a lot of the good work that we've been up to with vaping at the moment because, you know, they are looking for any excuses. And I could just see this in the sun, you know, local boy knocks out two teeth with vapor, you know, with vaporizing pen or something stupid like that. So, you know, and the functionality of it as well, the actual mod itself and how it vapes, there is a lot better out there. I mean, this it uses a Camry chip for fuck's sake, you know. Um, maybe if they put a, a better chip in this as well. I do, I do know that they're bringing out some more mods and they're actually taking off these knuckle guards at the front so it does become legal in the other states that it's not currently legal in, which, you know, probably would have been the smartest move to begin with. Um, but yeah, uh, this particular model, you know, even though I'm very grateful for them sending it to me, really nice. I'm just, it's not my cup of tea in the slightest. Um, I, I just think it's a terrible idea. I really do. Um, and like I said, you know, um, I can't even do a giveaway with it or send it anywhere. You know, what am I going to do up the fucking post office and say, what's in it, mate? <laughs> it's a knuckle duster, mate, that you can vape on. Yeah, that'll go down well. So yeah, now the price of one of these, eh, 
it's not particularly too bad. I'll give it that. Um, it's two hundred and fifty dollars. So what we're looking about one hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty quid. You know, and being on this channel, you know, that's probably one of the, the cheapest mods that um I've I've looked at for a long time. So the price ain't too bad. Um, in all honesty. But once again, do you really want a mod? Um, that basically looks like a weapon, you know, and functions like a weapon that you can't take outside. You possibly, depending where you are, won't be able to trade it or sell it or whatever with it, you know. Um, it's just a big thumbs down for me. Really sorry, guys. Massive thumbs down. Um, hopefully the new things that they've got coming out are a little bit more practical and fucking responsible. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, the uh, the gang mod is uh, is just a, a, a waste of time on everybody's part, unfortunately. So there you go. Let's just take another vape. While we're young. So thank you very much for watching this review. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.